Ambush? Oh no. Oh, that's cool. It's like a cross in his face. Soul catcher. You sound like a jerk. Let's do that. Yeah, I want to try and get that card that makes cards free for the rest of the combat on the Phoenix Torch. In boss fights. And because you hold your cards, I think that's possible. Nice little combo there. Let's go ahead. He's already got Stun Bomb. Let's put that on there. Let's go ahead and burn a fireball on him. I uh, actually want to try and get uh, Pure Fire. Come on. There you are. Do I know you? No, but that's where you are. Attack, 14 damage. See, like this combo? We don't need it on this fight, but I think in some of the boss fights it could be cool. Um, he's about to get stunned as well, so that's all right. Maybe I didn't need to play the extra um, Pyrobomb, but he's got a lot of health still, so I'm okay with it. We're going to be heading back to town soon anyway. It just doesn't. Doesn't. Um. Okay. Two. I can spend two. Destroy one of the nodes I wanted? No, okay, cool. We got that chalice though, which is really awesome. Yep. Do we take this fight? I think we do take this fight. I really want to. I don't want to do the dungeon. I'm going to do it out here. So I really want to push for that. Um, for the Act Two boss. Probably in the next ten minutes would be nice. All right, Sporehead. We're full health, so we'll put that on you. I'm going to hit you with a fireball as well. I can't. Okay. Um, I don't want that played here. Let's get rid of that. So not full health, play the Healy Power Bomb. Full health, play the Stun Bomb instead. Now we play the Healy Power Bomb. And the Pure Fire. Get wrecked. Deck is good. I, I, ha I know it's roguelike. Um, it's definitely roguelike. Not going to deny the devs this because they've done a great job. But it's definitely one where you could put out a guide with what to build towards and even give it like in the early game just take these cards and then look for these ones and you could end up with a deck like let's say you just pick this deck and be like that's what you want to have and I'm pretty sure you could get that most runs which is great for, for players that sort of just they just want to play the game and see the story and do the cards and have something to aim for um, I think it I think it reduces replayability a lot though unless you want to for people that want to follow guides it re reduces replayability a lot um, for people that want to try other decks and find other combinations of cards that work um, it's fine so 
So he's getting stunned this turn, so we don't do it while we do that. good spot I think. Let's craft that one. And that one. Oh, I shouldn't be doing that. I should be doing that in town and paying gold for it. Let's hit that button twice. Let's land to the town portal. We got the upgrade for her. Uh, wound healing. We take. We could take ailment healing. Oh, we could take them both. What's ultimate healing? Increases healing effects by 25%. Does that include car? It does, doesn't it? Don't have enough. I just don't care to have them removed though. So I want to get to that. And I, I usually just don't care for them. Sell resources soon. <clears throat> Increase the amount of recipes. I'm just not going to. Just don't care about that. Definitely want that one. Oh, that's money. Yep. Alright, so we just got an extra rest point and we made. Uh, we, we we made the rare and epic cards cheaper by one, which I believe includes blue is rare, yeah? Common, rare, and gold is epic, yeah. So healing pyrobomb is one of the, 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 the most re re renewed card we have in our deck. I'll even take more of them now because they only cost one rest to, to bring back. So we've, we've effectively increased our rest points by like four or five even on some fights. It's just strong, so strong. Uh, let's get rid of that and that and that. Let's craft that. I think we could almost get rid of reduced ashes. We just don't play it anymore. It's a big damage card, but probably just don't need it. We'll have to start getting rid of those, I, I guess. I don't want to burn any cards. Oh, I just made one, didn't I? Let's burn that one. Okay. Uh, status items, we've got max health. Max that, max that. So crit, we'll still get it because I think burn, we'll get us something that means burns can crit, but that's low priority. Um, we need to get that. I want to get the ultimate healing first though. Uh, huh. Maybe. Depends. If we get the boss fight, I'll probably just take the ailment if I don't have enough for ultimate. Um, we're just sort of cruising around, but we've like we've done everything and I, I don't want a dungeon we can head out this way okay St stomp a couple things uh, okay so we throw the healing pyro because we want to get a pyro on the rogue Ultimately, we want to find pure fire and incinerant. Hey, Dragon Gut. Uh, they've got some new consumables, but I think for players that are, haven't played the game before, they might start buying them. I, I've gotten one and I just haven't used it. And 
I don't think they're that necessary. I don't think we need to worry about much here. Let's get a stun bomb on the Sucky and get that. We dodged. But I think I'm at the stage now where as long as I don't screw up, the campaign's won. So I just have to literally make it to the end of the campaign. But if you haven't gone in a month, did you see the second character? Because Sly came out probably less than a month ago, maybe? And he's really fun. So I, I strongly recommend playing that if you haven't. 40 damage on a reduced ashes. We just do it, right? Oh, there's a crit. That's disgusting. Yeah, Shin, so I think that'd be the issue is having a boss fight and then the next time seeing a potion and being like, oh, that would have been cool in that boss fight. And, and then you'd be like, well, oh, okay, sure, it's cool. Do I need it? You heard that it was about to come out? I, I don't know. Probably not. They've got a roadmap up on Steam. So unless they've updated it to have that in there, not sure. Oh, they only cost one to come back. Oh my god, it's so good. Um, let's get the stun bomb back. Let's hit this button twice. I don't think I've got anything I want to... Oh, let's get that back. Have we got a boss fight coming out? Come on. Please. Storm, nice. I don't know if we'll worry about it though, we just don't need anything. This poor little level two guard is like, oh, wait, you, I see you. And we're like, uh, dude, come on, bro. Maybe, maybe you should just keep on walking, mate. He's like, I'm gonna stop you. <laughs> what, are you, what are you gonna do? What are you going He's gonna buff. He's like, just you wait. You remember the dungeon in World of Warcraft? In um, Netherstorm, I think it was. Yeah, it was in Netherstorm. It's the dungeon, the slave. No, not slave pens. Uh, I can't remember what it. But it's it's the jail. Um, and the blood elf is letting them all out, and he lets out Millhouse Manorstorm, and he's helping you. And he's like, you just wait in five turns. I'm gonna unleash. This guy's like buffing up. He's like, oh, I'm gonna do it. You give me five turns. I'm gonna hit you so hard. the dungeon what's that dungeon it's not slave pens it's one of the t it's one of the tempest keep dungeons. here it comes Needed to go face more, dude. Let's craft that. I think I'm just gonna, like, yeah, let's just do that. Yeah, it's Millhouse Manor Storm. He, he comes and joins you in the fight at the end of one of the Tempest Keep 
one of the three Tempest Keep dungeons. I can never, I can't remember what they're called. Um, and it, eventually, if the fight goes long enough, he does do some damage to the boss, but he doesn't really help. He's like, oh, first I gotta get my potions. Where's my potions? Oh, I gotta have no flasks. I gotta have some food, get some food buffs, get some mana. You know, and then eventually he, he throws like a pyroblast and does 10 damage. And you're like, yeah, thanks. Thanks, dude. The travel stone malfunctioned. You ended up somewhere else. Why? These are depleted as well because I already went there. I guess we I mean Rest points and intents are reduced for three battles. That kind of sucks. We do have a boss fight though, uh, which is awesome. Uh, we're gonna go. I'm gonna pull the whole deck out. Yep, let's do it. Let's burn some cards. We've got Cure Almonds, I'm going to check that first. Check the upgrades. No. No. I mean, I'm just not. I don't think they're probably nice to have and stuff. What do I think of Trials of Fire? I like the concept. Um, I, the pacing was really slow, though. Like the, just the way it went in and out of that book, and then into combat, and then the combat was mucked around. And I think the in combat, the fact that you hold onto your cards is great, but you use your cards to create energy so that you can play the other cards. So you very rarely do you hold onto cards. And sometimes you need to, but you need to put them in the recycle well. So maybe you, they need to deal like four cards per person, you know, or something. It just, I don't know, but I, I love the concept. I think, I think, I just think that the um, the product doesn't match up to what they were thinking up here creative, creatively wise. And I think what'll happen is if they when they release it, the potential someone will clone it and do a better job and then that game will be a hit type of deal. You know. Probably not because it's a small indie game, but you know it could happen. Usually it's the other way around. It's when a small indie game is a hit, someone clones it and make a, makes a worse one though. I think we're good. I don't want to burn anything else. I'm happy with having all those in there. Eh, some of them. We'll just use the rest of them. Alright. Wish me luck. Ah, uh, you can't burn the parasite. You need to upgrade the Healy chick. She, she, with cure ailments, she can't do parasites. All right, we've got a healing bomb straight away. We can Cindering Ring the Parasite, though. Normally, I wouldn't want to put a healing bomb out first since we're full health, but it's a boss, and I want to get a, a Pyro Bomb on there for the Stun Bomb. So let's just do that. Cindering Ring the Parasite, so it's just gone. Uh, 
and I'm going to throw the piercing fire just so I don't see it again. I don't want to keep fireballs because I want to cycle through my deck. Good boss fight. Normally I'd keep one of them. With the Ash Master, what does he do? Oh, he actually burn, burns them. I see what you mean. Yeah, sorry. I probably could have. Um, all right, let's get a stun bomb applied so we have one. I'm going to wait on the Healy Bomb for next turn. Just so that they're staggered. Let's get rid of that. I'm going to keep the burn out, though. Because I plan on dumping my deck. Alright, there we have some fire. Which is nice. Let's get that out there. Play the Malaria. I'm gonna hold those cards. We're still full health, by the way. Still got fire, so we don't need pure fire this turn. I don't want to stun myself. I'm going to throw the healing balm and just throw a fireball. Let's get rid of these guys. We don't need them. Still full health. Boss is stunned. Right, I would like another stun bomb, please. Not yet, apparently. Um, so I don't want a liquid fire because I would prefer to wait three turns and then get the other one out. I don't know if it's going to work that far. Let's get the healing pyro bomb on. Cindering ring, a parasite. Yeah, I'm going to cycle the liquid fire that after I, like, I'll put the liquid fire on. Do I have another cinder? And do... Uh, we'll hold a cinder instead of holding a parasite. This is going to drop, these fires are going to drop off in two turns, so I prefer to pure fire and then liquid fire. Uh, let's get the, that's going to go, so that's stun bomb. We don't have any more stun bombs, so we'll put the healing pyro bomb as well. Hold liquid fire, let's get rid of cindering and fireball. Still full health. Ignition doesn't do anything. Which is a shame. Let's play that. Let's just burn this for the damage. Pure fire next turn. Rotate cards. Still haven't seen my Phoenix torch. I've been holding onto this burnout all freaking game. There it is. Okay, pure fire. Throw that fireball. Uh, Pyromaniac. Don't need another pure fire. Okay. Signaling fire. We have a parasite. Liquid fire. Torch. Burnout can stay in my hand again. Didn't get it played. Fight. Still full health, by the way. Where does all this hatred come from, I wonder? I think the persecution of mages has nothing to do with it. Not every <laughs> Thanks, mage guys. retaliates their offenders. I'm not a victim, priest. I don't believe in martyrdom, and I don't rely on the higher powers. Eye for an eye, no need to wait for an afterlife. 
This world never allowed me to be me. But one day I allowed that to myself. I fear your war leads nowhere. And where does your war lead, Master? Being a hero, bathing in glory and regalia? I act in the interest of a greater good. Our world is far from being perfect, and it needs those who can make it better. People always seek a personal gain. This is how we are built. And you are no exception, Master. You, self-satisfied heroes, think you are better than others, and your grand deeds are but a means of maintaining that sweet illusion. I won't indulge your insolence. No need to. One day you'll meet the true you, face to face, without the hero guys. And you won't like your own reflection. The ones who want salvation will save themselves. It happened to me, and so it will happen to any other oppressed who craves to become themselves. Your world will be saved only when everyone in it will do their own saving and spill the blood of an offender. Hmm. You know no forgiveness, child of fire, and that is why you won't find peace. May the flames bless your soul when the hour of the reckoning comes. The closer we are to the goal, the more corpses and lost souls I see. I now have doubts. Maybe the Master is right, and we, the outcasts, have gone too far in our vengeance. You know no forgiveness. How would he know? Who caused more harm to whom? The world to us, or the other way around? I don't have an answer. I break the curse, but what's next? The people will put a price on my head again. This war will never end. There must be another way. The Valley of Death is close by. Judging by the abundance of corpses around, we reach the burial grounds. A place where the murderers and the poor are interred. The place that fell under the influence of the curse first. This land is one gigantic cemetery at its heart. There is a communal grave, where murderers, traitors to the crown, and heretics are buried. Hmm. Buried without last rites, just bodies tossed down the bottomless pit. The curse gave this place a new life, raising the hordes of skeletons, ghouls, and other undead from their graves. Wait, I feel the earth tremble under our feet, as if something massive is stomping on it. The Undertakers, who managed to escape <laughs> the, the clutches of the undead, tell stories of a bone giant that rose from that communal grave. I now believe these rumors to be true. Let us find a safe place to set up a camp and prepare to battle the giant. <laughs>